Hello, this is Artie Clear from WNJC 1360 AM, also Wi-Fi 1460 AM. We have a simulcast on every Saturday, between 3 and 5 for 2 hours of sports power. We talked about a lot of different things. I want to address the Philadelphia Phillies on a team that could be a dynasty, and I think they made a baby error. And their baby error is this. Joe Blanton is up for arbitration. The man wants over $10 million. They're willing to give Joe Blanton $7 million. Cliff Lee, who they traded away to Seattle this year, to replenish their farm system because they had made a trade for Roy Halladay, which was a beautiful trade for the Philadelphia Phillies. They have a young nucleus of Ryan Howard, Chase Utley, Jimmy Rollins, Carlos Ruiz, Shane Victorino. With pitching, this team can go for four or five years deep into the playoffs and maybe win a World Series. And it would be nice for a Philadelphia team to win a World Series. The last time was in 1980. You're talking like 30 years ago. Philadelphia has a great nucleus. Why they traded Cliff Lee, to me, I can't believe it. They still have a one-year option on him. Give him $9 million, which would be about $2 more million than you have for Joe Blanton. Let Joe Blanton go. Have a one-two punch of Roy Halladay and Cliff Lee. It would be better one-two punch than anybody in, in, in baseball. Uh, even better than what San Francisco had with Randy Johnson and Linscombe and Matt Cain. Uh, with the Dodgers, uh, they didn't have it. So we go to the Yankees. They had a beautiful guy with C.C. Sabathia, A.J. Burnett, Andy Pettit. Well, if the Phillies had Cliff Lee, Roy Halladay, and, say, Joe Blanton, they'd have a formidable 1-2-3 punch that could possibly put them in the World Series again, would actually make them a favorite to go to the World Series and probably play the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox because those guys, they spend big money to make their teams what it is. I've got to give my hat off to the New York Yankees. They spend their money. They don't sit on it. The Phillies are starting to do now that now. They had 3.7 million fans this year coming to uh, Citizens Bank Ballpark. To keep a fan base like that, you have to keep on winning. To give Cliff Lee a ring for three prospects, to me, was insanity. If you had Cliff, kept Cliff Lee with his pitching and Roy Halladay's pitching, Halliday's going to have a, a one-up on the National League because he's an American League pitcher, and not a lot of the National League people have not seen Roy Halliday on a steady basis like they do in the American League. Also, Cliff Lee would have had the same thing, but now he's going back to the American League where everybody knows him to the Seattle uh, Mariners. Also, I wanted to add that two years ago, Cliff Lee had won the Cy Young with a 23-2 and record. How do you let that man out of Philadelphia over a million and a half dollars and you want to keep Joe Blanton over Cliff Lee? I think there's something wrong there. Ruben Amara Jr., who's a mentor, is Pat Gillick, who also did a lot of things with Seattle, Baltimore, and for Philadelphia. He was a great GM, one of the best ones ever. He's training Ruben Amara Jr., who I think is doing a good job. I think they missed the boat with Cliff Lee, though. Also, their bench. Matt Stair is no longer on the team. Uh, uh, the guy who's hitting 131, Jeff, uh, Eric Bruntlett, off the team. You need to put a better bench together so when you get deep into the playoffs and somebody gets hurt, you can bring somebody out there who can take their position and give some legitimacy to the team of not letting them down on, to the point where they're, they're, they're sick that their third baseman is out because they got a guy they can't take that position because they don't have a bench. They need a bench, and this year I hope they get it. They invited like six or seven different players to their training facility out in Clearwater, Florida that are – Major League players that don't have a contract. Also, there's still some free agents out there, but the free agents that are left out there are all injury-prone, like Ben Sheets. He's a great pitcher, but the man never finishes the season. If they can get their hands around a guy like that who can finish the season, that would be nice. Now, I know they invited Eric Gagne to Clearwater as a middle reliever or as a setup man closer to Brad Lidge, who's had two surgeries, and he's feeling great right now. Eric Gagne had converted like 60 saves in a row who holds a record. If he could fizzle, if he don't fizzle out and he can help the Philadelphia Phillies, that would be good. Because Chad Durbin, Mark Madsen, they're not the guys to get it done. Scott Ayer, he retired. They need another left-hand pitcher in their bullpen. J.C. Romero, he got caught on the drugs. He had a 50-game suspension. He got hurt. You can't have these pitchers breaking down in midseason because you don't have nobody to replace them. Then you got to go to your farm system. That's one of the reasons why Cliff Lee was traded to Seattle, so they can go to their farm system and replenish what they got up there in case a man goes down. They can go to their farm system 
and get a guy to take his place that's a halfway decent ball player. And you never, ever know what's really going on unless you're inside the scenes of these guys coming up from double-A ball, not triple-A ball. They don't ever bring anybody out of triple-A ball. They bring them in, out of double-A ball. The triple-A ball is for them to win games so they have a fan basis and they make money. The whole thing is for the Philadelphia Phillies with a dynasty that they can build because they have young players and really good players. If you look at Jimmy Rollins was an MVP. Ryan Howard was an MVP. Roy Halladay won a Cy Young. Two, Cliff Lee won a Cy Young. Brad Lidge, not this year but the year before, perfect out of the bullpen. If that can come around again, and they might be able to get Cliff Lee back, believe it or not, towards the trading line, the deadline, where Seattle don't want to pay him because he's going to become a free agent. And they figure, well, we gave up prospects. Let's get prospects out. We're no longer in the pennant race. Let's trade Cliff Lee, and the Philadelphia Phillies can pick him up again, like they did last year for a portion of what he was making. That's my scoop on the Philadelphia Phillies. This is already clear from WNJC 1316 and Wi-Fi, and I'll see you when I see you.